Oh, thank you. You mustn't worry about it. Look, she seems so unimpressive, but she's divorced. <laughs> I know how she looks, but she's actually a bit of a slut. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm Kajiwara Daichi. I work in Tokyo. One day at work. Daichi, careful! What? Are you okay? Ouch! Some books had fallen from the shelf, and as I ducked away, I fell over and broke my leg. Fortunately, I could still walk on crutches and could live more or less the same as usual. At first, it was stressful that everything was suddenly so difficult, but thanks to one woman, I felt better. Oh, are you alright? Oh, thank you. You mustn't worry about it. Yes, this was her. I'll help. So don't try to do much, okay? No, it's fine. It barely hurts anymore and it's going to heal soon. They said I won't need the crutches from next week. That might be true, but you mustn't try too hard, you know? Ah, she's cute today, too. When I heal, I probably won't get to talk to her like this again. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, no. I did not even have the courage to ask her name. And I would just talk to her casually like this every morning. Oh, we're almost at the station now. Let's do our best today, okay? Oh, yes, let's. Couldn't ask her today yet again. Well, once I'm healed properly, I'll go thank her and I'll also ask her name. Maybe even ask her out to dinner. My leg healed just as promised. And throughout the weekend, I did not see her. So I was planning to catch her on Monday and thank her properly. And I was on my way to the station. Oh, is she on the holiday today? I cannot see her anywhere. Even after that, I stopped seeing her anywhere. I wonder what happened. Elise wanted to thank her. I felt a little sad, but I guess something had happened to her. Even so, I didn't think she wouldn't even tell me about it. This is too bad. My mild crush had dissipated in a regretful and sad manner. But one day at lunch hour... Daichi! What happened, Kenta? And you, Akira? Your leg healed, right? Yeah, pretty much. Around the time my leg had healed, Akira and Kanta found me. What's up? We were just thinking we should celebrate your leg somewhere, a party. Yes, why didn't you come? Oh, that sounds great. It's been a while. Great, then it's decided. We were good friends, and we'll go grab dinner often, so I jumped on their plan, and headed to the restaurant after work. What's up? I didn't hear about a speed date. It's fine, it's fine. You can just chat for a bit and head home. Um, I'm not interested in these things. I've already set my heart on someone. Oh, you said that. But you're not great with women. And you'll be alone forever if you keep being like this, you know? And look, they're all pretty, aren't they? That's right, let's go. Um, I'm sorry, but... Huh? That girl... When I look over to where the two are pointing at, two lively girls and another sitting in between them. What? Why here? But she seems different from usual. But this is a chance anyhow, if I can introduce myself and thank her. What's up, Daichi? Huh? Oh, that's not... Um, whatever, J just this time, alright? Really? Well, let's go then. Finally! Sorry, sorry, <laughs> So, let's do this then. Well, cheers! Cheers! And so, the speed date began. But something happens during our round of introductions. Well then, you in the middle. Oh, finally! Hey, Miss Hanamura. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's very shy. <laughs> we'll introduce her instead, shall we? <laughs> Before she could open her mouth to speak, the girl sitting on either side of her raised their voice. Kagayama Tokiko is the darker skinned, and Torai Megumi is the lighter skinned. The girl explained cheerfully and... She's Hanamura Saki. Hanamura? That's what it said. What a pretty name, but... I couldn't help feeling a weird atmosphere among the three girls. It seemed that Akira and Kenta had caught onto something too, and were laughing along dryly. This feels... wrong. But the two girls didn't notice a thing about us, and then... Look, she seems so unimpressive, 
but she's divorced. <laughs> what? 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 It's true. Well, yeah, but. Who are these people? It's as if they only have her here to bring her down. I started to feel inexplicably angry. Akira and Kent had reached the point where, instead of pretending to laugh, they are just frozen in place, and wouldn't even try to carry on the conversation, unable to do anything. A fake smile plastered on their faces, as if waiting for the dinner to end. And then, I know how she looks, but she's actually a bit of a slut. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't stand this. Oh. Hey, hey, Daichi. Daichi? I couldn't help it anymore. I shot up from my seat, grabbed Miss Hanamura by the elbow, and dragged her out. Uh, hey, wait, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Uh, um. Does she not recognize me? Um, you helped me out on the train before. What? Oh, I. I'm so sorry. I didn't notice at all. Oh, not a problem. It's been some time. But anyway, are you okay? They were being horrible to you. I'm sorry I dragged you here. It wasn't a conscious decision. Oh, it's okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. But thank you. But don't worry about me. I'll go home now. So you should get back in there. So it's goodbye now. Wait a minute. W wait. Why don't we go grab dinner just by the two of us? If I let this opportunity go, I'll never see her again. What? Dinner with me? Yes. And I must thank you properly for all those train rides. Can we?、Uh, oh, if you're really fine with me. Let's go then. Well, shall we eat then? Yes. By the way, if you weren't looking at me, you also weren't listening to my introduction, were you? S sorry. It's all right. I'm Kajiwara Daichi. Just call me Daichi. Daichi. I'm Hanamura Saki. You can call me Saki too. Thank you, Saki. And thank you for everything you did for me. I'm healed now properly. I'm glad to hear that. Finally, I could say thank you right now. I was quite happy just to be reunited with her. But there was still something I had to know. After my leg healed, why had we never met anymore? By the way, I was wondering. Why did you stop getting on that train? I was so confused about it. I was actually getting on the train that left right before it. What? When we met the first time, it was actually when I've overslept, and I saw you, so I was a little worried about you and started getting on one train later than the usual. But when I saw you on Monday, you really were walking without your crutches, and I didn't want to bother you anymore. So I went back to my usual train since then. Really? Anyhow, I was only a stranger to her, but she had even changed her train to help me out. She's really a remarkable person. Really? You were so kind to me. It was nothing. It was all I could do. But it really helped me a lot. So let me do this for you. Thank you. So let's eat now. I'm starved. Yes. During our meal. We talked of things we'd never mentioned before, and enjoyed our time together. Ah,、uh, that was no use. What happened to Hanamura anyway? Hmm, those voices. Just when we were enjoying our coffees after our dinner, we heard familiar voices in the restaurant. Those two that had been making fun of Saki had appeared. Huh? Isn't that Miss Hanamura and Mr. Kajiwara? <laughs> I didn't know you guys were here. <laughs> wow, Miss Hanamura, I'm impressed again. To see you alone with someone you haven't even spoken to already. Uh, it's not. Miss Hanamura, she'd been so normal until now. So that's how it is then. I wonder if Saki disliked these two women. Even so. We're gonna need you to pay for your meal from the other place. You just ran off somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You could pay for hours too if you want. The more I hear from them, the uglier they become in my mind. Saki, are you okay? Um, yes. Don't worry about them. Oh, we we're just about to leave, so don't mind us. How much was it at that place? Oh, you're going already? Is it like are you spending the night somewhere? And you guys are already on a first name basis. 
I would warn you against her, you know. She likes to fool around. Huh? Oh, this is hopeless. If I get mad now, it will be giving them exactly what they want. Um, I'm saying that I'll pay for that meal. Could you please leave us alone? Hey, Mr. Kajiwara. Are you the next manager? That's so cool. I mean, if you are, you really should stay away from that kind of girl, you know. So true. <laughs> He's good at his job, but not so much with the woman, I guess. It seemed that Tokiko and Megumi heard about my upcoming promotion from Akira and Kanta. But they were approaching me steadfastly. Daichi. Come on. She's already once divorced. Look at us now. Seeing that neither Akira or Kanta is around, the speed date didn't seem to have gone well. Of course that would be the case. Well then, I'm reaching my limit here. You guys are joking, right? Huh? What? Wait, what are you saying? I'm saying what I'm saying. You say I'm not good with women? I think I could throw that right back at you too. May I? When I was injured and I couldn't even bring myself to get on the train, Saki would help me out every day even when we were strangers to each other. A normal person wouldn't even talk to me. But Saki would. Not even that, but once I had recovered, she was worried about bothering me any further and went right back to the way she was before. Could either of you do any of that? I couldn't stop talking. Huh? Is that it? For somebody I've never even seen, to sacrifice some of your time every day? Um... It doesn't matter that someone is divorced. There must have been a reason for that anyway. You guys only see the surface of it. But don't you think that's embarrassing? Oof. Saki is much more attractive than either of you. And besides, if I think about you guys who casually spread information about other people's private lives and act smugly around them, I couldn't imagine the world in which I'd be friends with the likes of you. Daichi. Why do you excuse us now? Saki and I still have a lot we want to talk about. Uh, we're going, Megumi. Oh, okay. Daichi, thank you. But I think you think too highly of me. No, no. I've said it before. But you're an amazing person. So you can be confident about it. And because I know your kindness and your strength, I've already fallen in love with you. Oh, thank you. What? Oh, uh, no, I've gotten two ahead. Oh, uh, um, Saki? Oh, I've also... about you. What? That day when I couldn't leave you alone with your injury, you looked at me with a big smile and thanked me so genuinely. I couldn't forget about that smile and I thought I wanted to help you again. So I would get on a different train from usual just to do that. I am not so selfless as you think I am. I also had my own intentions. Ever since I saw your smile, I liked you. But... But? What Tokiko and Megumi were saying is true. I am divorced and... Um... I want to ask one thing. Yes? Why did you separate? Um, it's not like I'm really curious about it. But I just couldn't stand the way they were poking fun at you. I was cheated on. What? Saki's story was extremely horrible. She had met her ex-husband at a speed date, where he told her he had fallen for her at first sight, and they had gotten together and married. Their marriage went quite smoothly at first, but her ex-husband started to behave differently, and when she looked into it, she found out that she had been cheated on. When she asked about it, he had admitted to it right away, and he had already felt committed to his mistress, so he had suggested the divorce. That's... Unforgivable. So I thought I wouldn't be good for you. So when I healed, you decided not to see me again? Yes. Haha. <laughs> what? Really? I had no idea. <laughs> I did think it was weird that you suddenly disappeared. When I said I wasn't going to need the crutches anymore, you really ran away. I got pretty anxious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Not at all. I'm not trying to blame you. But I'm sorry, Saki. You also had your own situation to think about. Yes. You're overwhelmed by it, aren't you? What? Why? Huh? You were watching me from afar, right? When you were still worried. Well, yeah. I like that side of you. But I'm divorced. That means literally nothing to me. 
and I'm not so hopeless that I will pick people based on that. Daichi. So, won't you accept my feelings now? Yes. I'll say it again. I like you. Would you like to be my girlfriend? I'm sorry. What? What? Why? Oh. Uh. Um. It's not. Huh? I just need you to wait a little bit. I also like you, but there's something I need to do before I give you an answer. I know this is really selfish of me, but could you please wait for me? That's okay. I know that was a little sudden. I'm sorry. I'll wait. And that thing I had to do first. Good luck on that. Yes. And so, my once-in-a-lifetime confession was put on hold, and we parted ways for that night. At lunchtime the next day. Hey, Daichi. How far did you go with that girl from last night? Yeah, Daichi. It was quite chaotic after you left, you know. Those girls complaining about everything. Our hearts couldn't take much more. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Did you know that girl from before? You guys running off on your own. Sorry, sorry. Well, yeah, we sort of know each other. And? Are you dating? That's. Oh, this is too hard. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I have to take a call. I'll talk to you guys later. Hmm. You really have to. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Oh. Is it Daichi? I'm sorry to bother you at work. Is this a good time? Yes, it's fine. Um, I wanted to continue our conversation from last night. Oh yes, of course. We made plans to meet up at the station. I'm sorry, I was a bit late. Don't worry. So, about last night, as I told you already, I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. I can't hold my ground against other people, and I thought I never deserved anything. But when you said you liked me last night, I felt more confident, and I also thought I couldn't go on like this anymore. I think you will st still say that you like me, even when I'm like this. But I was thinking that I cannot be an equal to you. That's why I went to those two today, and talked back at them. Those two? I'm talking about Tokiko and Megumi. According to her, those two women have been exploiting her at work every day. And when they try to do it again today, I won't. Huh? I've been doing this all this time, but it was honestly very inconvenient. I'll ask you to to do your own work from now on. Hey, wait. No, no way. I could finally say no. This is all thanks to you, Daichi. Wow. This is not thanks to me, Saki. It's all you. So, so. Yes. About my answer, I like you too. I can finally stand beside you now. Will you date me? Of course. That's how we started our relationship. Saki had always been good at her work from before, and when she stopped doing work for others, she could start to really focus on her own tasks and was promoted to manager. Tokiko and Megumi, on the other hand, had been relying on Saki all this time, so they did not know how to work on their own. And are now doing menial tasks for their colleagues, living unimpressive lives. I was also promoted to manager, and both of us became busy at work. But we managed to make time for each other and make every day enjoyable. <laughs> What's up? No, I was just thinking that only a few months ago, I would never have dreamed of something so happy as this. I'm really happy, Daichi. Yeah, I am too. But what? I'm going to make you even happier, so don't settle for this. <laughs> right. Keep taking care of me. There's so many people that judge others just by the surface, but I know that you cannot see anyone's entirely just from the surface. I hope that Tokiko and Megumi can also start seeing others as the complex people that they really are. <laughs>